Good morning, Tanya Evans with a news update. The Queen and Prince Philip will be arriving in Perth this afternoon for the final stop in their 11-day tour of Australia. The couple will touch down at the Perth airport at about 4.30 in their private jet with 30 members of the royal household. The Queen will officially open the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting tomorrow. Two men have been charged after a series of car thefts yesterday. A silver Commodore, two quad bikes and a four-wheel drive were stolen in three separate incidents. A 17-year-old and 26-year-old have been charged with two counts of aggravated robbery, three counts of stealing a motor vehicle and reckless driving. Both men will appear in court later today. Police are warning of a massive traffic crackdown over the long weekend. Officers have urged drivers to slow down on the roads or face hefty fines as double demerit points are brought in from midnight tonight. Rescuers have plucked a two-week-old baby and her mother from the rubble of a Turkish earthquake that has killed more than 400 people. The newborn baby was whisked away by helicopter to the Turkish capital Ankara for treatment. More than 1,500 people have been injured in the country's east, with displaced residents forced to shelter in tents as the country continues to be rocked by aftershocks. And in sport, one of the greatest trans-Tasman rivalries will continue when Australian netball team the Diamonds meet New Zealand tonight. The two teams will clash for the 54th time, with more than half the battles between the two decided by five goals or less. The Diamonds and the Silver Ferns will play at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre tonight. Chance of a thunderstorm today with a top of 22. Stay with us as we bring you more news throughout the day.